Question. Is one year program worth it? What are the best options for you? One year, two years, or four years study program? Well, watch this video and I will let you know. I'm Alan and I'm back with more information and tips on how to study, work, and live here in Canada. So for the first part of our video, I will be talking about tips on how to make a one-year program enough for obtaining PR in Canada. And for the second part of our video, I will be interviewing colleagues and classmates with a one-year school program and give you some advice. The fact is that two years program will give you a three years post-graduate work which makes it easy for you to get a permanent residency. But how about one year program that gives you only one year post-graduate work ready? Is that enough? Well, let's make it work today. Two years or four years program is almost like a 100% guarantee that you will get your PR. Even if you take a look at the Atlantic Commission, pilot program. Uh, oh, wait, what is Atlantic? Atlantic Canada includes the provinces of New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. So you study there for at least two years, you get your postgraduate work permit, sign a contract with any Atlantic employers and you will get your PR. No experience needed. But what about one year program option? So let's make it work. The first tip is to be strategic of the province of your choice. So what I mean by this is that you have to be clever with your postgraduate permit, which is where you intend to utilize that one year because if you come to Manitoba, for example, there are different PNP pathways or options for international students. So it's super easy to get PR. Another example is that uh, when you go to Atlantic provinces, they have the Atlantic Innovation Pilot Program if you come to the right province, it's going to be easier for you. Second tip is to be strategic with your career. What I mean by this is if you would like to come to Canada and research of what provinces are the most in demand jobs that are related to your career or your industry or in the job market or your profession. If you utilize the right skills and you research the right employer, you definitely think you later because you will get your PR in one year. To give you an example, if you are in information technology or IT or a software developer or an engineer, you can go to British Columbia where the most of the opportunities for those people are there. If you are something related to the ocean, you can go to the Atlantic Canada. That is a great option for you. And if you are in the agriculture or great industry or related experience like me, you can go to Manitoba Saskatchewan or Alberta. The third tip I have for you is to find an employer before your program ends. While you are studying, look for a part-time job and make sure that the employer can offer you a full-time job after you graduate. For example, um, while I'm studying, I have a part-time job. So two months prior my graduation, I spoke to my manager and informed her that I'm graduating soon and I'm happy to be part of the company and I asked if there is an opportunity always for me or well, something like that and then um, because uh, some of the students will wait to look for an employer or full-time job until the program ends and I strongly recommend to you do not do that if you have a one-year study program. It sounds stressful but I guarantee you it will help your PR application in future. The fourth tip is good just for those students if you have a spouse or partner that will able to come here on an open work permit. Did you know that your spouse or partner can actually get a permanent residence visa for you? Well, for example, here in Manitoba, we have the Manitoba Work Experience Pathway eligibility for permanent residence. Well, to be eligible under this stream, you must meet all the minimum requirements and you can find it on uh, their website. Yes, I know it's a lot of information to take in, but please comment down below if you have any questions and also let me know where are you watching this from and which province are you interest, interested. 
So for the second part of the video, I invited my friend and my classmate Esmeralda to share us her journey and her experience as an international student with one year study program. So let's start. The reason why I invited her is because uh, many aspiring international students are curious or having some doubts about uh, pursuing one year study program. So this video maybe could help you or uh, provide you some clarity or um, expectation with regards to one year study program. So before, so before that, or let's start, um, Miss Esmeralda. Please tell us a little introduction about yourself and why did you chose a one-year study program? Okay, so thank you, Alan, for inviting me. Um, it is a real pleasure to be here. Um, my name is Esmeralda Rodriguez and I came as an international student um, to MITT. It is a college from uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. And the reason why I chose a program of one year was because it was like um, the faster, I would say, the faster pathway in order to apply for the permanent residence. I know that there are too many people uh, looking for programs of two years, but I would like to say that it is possible. It is possible to get your PR after one year, but you need to have determination and you need to be focused on your goals and objectives. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Second question is, why did you choose Manitoba? I love Manitoba because it was a, um, a small province. I came with my husband, my son, and my father, and we were looking for a small province, uh, very familiar for us, uh, with no too much noise. And I love the yeah. province from the first moment I, we arrived. Yeah, and would you agree to me that Manitoba is one of the easiest provinces that you can get here? Yes, mm -hmm. totally agree. Yeah. They have different pathways. And for that reason, we we choose one of the of the pathways that I know that there are not. It is not too much uh, recognized by people, so it is very interesting to know that there are different pathways to apply for the permanent residence. Mm -hmm. Good. And finally, uh, what is your advice to those aspiring international students that would like to take a one-year study program in support of their PR application? Um, my advice would be to be persistent and uh, to be confident on yourself and also mm, not wait until the last day of your studies to start looking for a job. I would say that um, from the beginning you would need to focus on your research. Mm -hmm. um, I would also would like to, to let them know that it is very important to have a very professional LinkedIn and all your social media needs to be very professional in order to get connections and networking and from that kind of networking you can have this kind of uh, information and also connections uh, know people that could recommend for a, a good job so um, be focused on that and have your objectives and goals uh, very uh, on the first step i would say all right that's it thank you very much okay thank you aline Hi, Pedro. Hey, how are you? I uh, invited you for a short interview for our aspiring international students. So, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. How are you? My name is Pedro. Um, I am 40 years old. And I came to Canada with my wife and daughter. My professional experience includes trading, logistics, and transportation. My last job was uh, as a commodity trader in steel products, to be specific. Yeah. The next question, oh, why I choose a one-year program? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the choice to take a one-year program was based on the search for a good balance between my professional and academic life. In addition, taking any program longer than two years uh, represents not only an increase in study time, but also a significant increase in investment. I agree, you know? I agree with you, yeah. Well, why you choose Manitoba? Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, I chose Manitoba because their provincial nomination offer was the best at that time. 
and specifically the reason that the station of the of your work for me could be for two or more years yes that was the main reason and lastly what uh, can you advise to those aspiring international students well i think that the best advice is to be positive all the time so we will not know for sure what surprises may came in our way you know but having a positive mindset can help you to overcome the fears and the ancients of making this type of decisions all right thank you very much pedro thank you guys bye bye again if you have any questions please comment below and i will try my best to respond on that if you like this video please like and subscribe I hope uh, this video helped and give you a better understanding on how to make a one-year program and offer PR. Thank you everyone for watching and stay safe!